I would like you to line up according to the name you want to be called in this workshop. Over here is the A, and over there there would be Z. E. Okay. Okay, I'm Emmanuel Haimba Masibili. I'm from Bungoma County, Abuya. My name is Pony Joyce Buni. I come from South Sudan. My name is Kevin Doyle. Uh, I work with the Institute for Research and Policy Alternatives here in Nairobi. Next question would be, how much time did you need to get to this location? One day. One hour. One hour, okay. Yeah. This is the one hour group. <laughs> Two days. I think this deserves some applause, right? <laughs> My expectation with this one is how we can be able to improve on the quality of the education that we currently have. I expect to learn strategies of reaching uh, people with education, th those people that are unreachable. Basically, it's to see more practical when it comes to career development from our education. Today we are gathered to celebrate with the alumni portal Deutschland. And the thread today is quality education. Education is something which lays the foundation for personal development. It's a starting point for a professional career. Therefore, it's no surprise that quality education is among those goals set by the UN. The most important to me in education basically is a wholesome or holistic transformation. What comes to my mind is quality and relevance. Education that builds upon existing capacities and skills that youth already have. What do you think are the biggest challenges? Infrastructure, you have no teaching materials. The gap between what is taught in university or TTIs, technical schools, and what is the demand from labor markets. I think a critical component is trying to enhance the place of technical training, what we call TIBET, within the education system. What we need to do is just to promote collaboration within the government, the academia, the industry. What is the integration of the lecturers with the industries? What is the networks of the university with the industries? You as the lecturer go to the industry and also learn from the industry what they do. Sign MOUs with them, they will give your students priority. I would like you to take apart the models again and to build your dream school. So I'm looking for a school that is really makes a person to really feel happy to be there, uh, that is focused on the individual. My school is open, accessible to all, it's transparent. What we have here is an assembly of simple experiments that uh, the primary school's pupil can be able to understand. I can tap your social network and to get to know people, so when I'm looking for a job, it's easier. So they're being trained in the design thinking process. Education for all until 2030 may only be achieved if. Education for all until 2030 can only be achieved if there's a paradigm shift and inclusion, more resource allocation, collaboration, and adoption of research and technological trends. In Kenya, you'll find education system is more valid when it comes on the, on the urban setting, but on the rural area, you find there's no much strength when it comes to education. We've been at war for the longest time, so people are still wounded. People need to heal, so they, there needs to be healing fast before anything can be done, for any education system to be relevant. If we want to be industrialized, for example, by Vision 2030, then we really have really to a little bit improve in the core elements of what is going to lead to industrialization and therefore it basically means training institutions and the industries must come and work together. I got so many great ideas and feedback and how to make the program more fruitful. Yeah I got some great feedback um, in, in terms of barriers that uh, we'd be faced with. There was a lot of validation as well in terms of the need for this and, and that sort of thing, so I appreciated that very much. Fantastic. Futuristic. <laughs> Interesting. Good fun. Inclusive. Awesome. Grateful, but also tired. Thank you very much.